hello welcome to tutor for your channel in this video i will show you how you can upload or publish your asp.net web application all the timestamp will be in the description so you can skip to your favorite part open this website smartasp.net hosting its link will be in the description when you click on it you will get to this website click on get started now this is the registration form First you have a drop down with 60 days selected. You can also select affiliate program. Both are same. I will talk about it more later in this video. Then you have to give a username with no space. And then email address. And confirm that email just copy and paste it. Then write a password with alphabets and numbers. Then rewrite it make sure it matches. Then type this code in here. After this, scroll down and check this box. Now this is the affiliate ID which is mine. So I will also show you how you can make your own affiliate ID. They claim that they pay $5 per referral. But I cannot verify that because I haven't referred it to someone. If they do pay, I will definitely make a video about it and share it with you. So make sure to subscribe. After filling the form you have to click on sign up now. Now they have sent an email for verification to your email address which we have provided. So this is the email which they have sent. Click on this link. It will take you to this login page. Provide the username and the password and type in this code. So this is the dashboard and at the top this are the navigation bar. First we have new order here are the list of all their paid program let's click on this affiliate tab so this is where you will find your affiliate id or you can just copy the affiliate link and share it with your friend and this is where they claim to give five dollars and if you scroll down you will get this banners ad which you can use in your website i have already made a video about it where i have used the same banner in my blogger website so its link will be in the description so if you go on referral you can see how many people you have referred and it have many options but let's go to this hosting and click on try now so this form will open fill this form and remember the password and then type the name of the root folder this can be anything I am writing root and check this box and then click on next and then click on submit it may take one to three minutes so just wait now your hosting tab will change it will have this control panel button click on it so this is your website address or your domain you can also add your own domain from here if you have one so if you click on your current domain it will have this default page open so let's open our ASP.NET project till the time it's opening let's first upload our database select MS SQL and click on add database select your database version and this will be the same password which we have provided before so I will change it and make it database one so our database is created now click on restore database now you have to upload your database which should be .bake file I have already made a 1 minute video on how to create a .bake file, link in the description. So this is our .bake file, upload it. After it's uploaded, click on restore. So our database work is done and our project is also open. So go to your web config file and remove the data source, initial catalog and integrated security or you may have username and password. Remove that all. Now this is the connection string, copy it, don't copy this quotation mark, paste it in your web config file and don't forget to change this your db password to your password, mine was database1. So now let's check everything is working. With this database first approach in hosting, you can reduce much time. Now you just have to check if everything is working and then upload your project. 
so a project is working now go back and right click on your project and select publish probably if you are publishing for the first time you will not get this window you will get this window from here select folder click next and then location where you want to save your published folder i will go for desktop making a new folder called tutorial for you and then click finish and now you just have to click on publish after publishing is successful go to folder and zip all the file now this is what you have to upload go back to your dashboard and click on the folder tab in here you will see two folders one which you have named click on it delete the default page and click on this upload icon this window will open from here you will upload your zip project After it is done, refresh the page and select the zip file and click on unzip. Now select the folder you want it to be unzipped and click on submit. Now you can delete your zip file and when you go back to your domain and refresh the page, you will get your website published. Give this website a try if it does not work for you. I have already made some more videos on ASP.NET free hosting. Its link will be in the description. You can also check them out. Or if it does work for you, give this video a like. And if you want to see future videos like this, hit the subscribe button. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Have a nice day.